Hey, howdy. <laughs> this is gonna be the last day of Tuki for a while. Cause I got I am booked for basically this whole weekend. And then after this, it's all crunch because I have a bunch of a bunch of tests and a bunch of just general homework. And then after that, oh my god, that looks swanky. <laughs> Shadow gentleman. And after that, I'm just I got spring break. So I'm gonna be away from my computer for most of that. So I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to make videos for a while. So I may as well make this one count. So I think today I'm going to forego the wallpaper expeditions, and I I want to see the new QXY content before I leave. So let's go and do that. Oh, there's another QXY update in the works. That's that must be bug fixes. Okay. So there's a new area in Jigsaw Puzzle World, which is I, I found that very interesting. Uh, okay. On a slightly different note, uh, I have, I have slowly fallen down a rabbit hole and now I cannot get back out. Help me, help me. Um, that rabbit hole being homestarrunner.com. I'm, I think I've mentioned that, um, this before. But I will continue to sing its high graces because it's very fun. But first, a little bit of context because I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of people who have... Oop. Hello. There are a lot of people who have just never heard of it. At least not by that name. So, to give a bit of context, HomestarRunner.com was a website with a whole bunch of flash animations. And they were known for being super silly, they had a bunch of different characters that would kind of just go around and do weird things. And the characters that are most well known is, well, of course there's the Homestar Runner. Who's a weird, oh, a weird dude with a beanie and, a, and an underbite, who talks with a comic with a comically prevalent lisp. You get Strong Bad, who is a an email checking luchador. Let's see. I'm going to assume this area is accessed by equipping fairy and then just going straight up. And there are other characters, but Homestar, Homestar and Strongbad are the main attraction. Right, Lorne Tower. Oh, is it the bad effects? There we go. I'm going to assume it's not this, but it's worth a check. Nah, it's Dream Park, weird. Never thought I'd find a, a connection to Dream Park of all places here. I'm very curious about this.
Whoa. This is so pretty for, you know, being Jigsaw Puzzle World. That is so pretty. So... Hmm. Is there anything to do here? This is really cool. <laughs> Had I... If I were better with wallpaper engine, I would definitely make this a wallpaper. And just use this as a desk as on my desktop. But I don't I don't even think I I don't even think I own a wallpaper engine, so. What ifs? Wait. My next question is what happens when you equip something else while you're up here? Oh my god, they thought of that. That's adorable. Also, sorry it's taking me so long to return to the game. It's really jank for some reason. I don't know why it drops inputs so much, but it's this that's just the way that it works. So is there anything else here? Because I obviously can't go to the sides of the tower. I think it's just this. And that's really, that's really cool. Hang on, it's probably... It's probably best to go up here and then leave. That was really cool, but also get me out of here. This is Jigsaw Puzzle World. Isn't there a... Yeah, there is something down here. That's tied into a dream park thing that I haven't done yet, I reckon. Okay, what else? There's that. There's a new area in Streetlight Docks accessible from one of the houses. Uh, the thing that I'm most interested in is I remember seeing... Removed the 3D Underworld's glitch nexus and replaced it with a new area. Now that is interesting. I think, I think I just go, because there's also that new area accessible from 3D Underworld. But if I understand correctly, uh, Glitch Nexus is that one black and white area between Oblique Hell and, um, Glitch Butterfly, not Glitch Butterfly Sector, um, the, like, white, the white flowers path. But yeah, Homestar Runner. How to how to describe it? It is a very interesting sense of humor because, well, look. If you grew up in the two thousands and are familiar with Newgrounds style sense of humor, 
you know the kind of show that uh, Porn Star Runner reasonably could have been? This is different. Wait, this is very different. Hello. What's in here? Is there a connection to the other parts of uh, Famicom Caverns? Interesting. But how to best put it? Newgrounds animations around this time period had a super gritty, edgy sense of humor. And that's fun in theory, but it aged, t uh, most of them aged terribly. And the jokes are either super racy, fl flat out just racist and or homophobic, or just not very funny because it's just, the joke is, isn't it, isn't this so cool and edgy? It's new grounds, ah. This ain't your mama's fo this ain't your mama's animation forum, etc. But Homestar Runner kind of just doesn't do that. Because like Strong Bad is definitely meant as like a pastiche of the super over-the-top macho, I'd call him, I, I'd say toxic masculinity, but it was before toxic masculinity was really had a defined term for it. But it's not done in a way that's really disrespectful. He's kind of just a, he's kind of just a, a buff dude That does buff dude things and answers emails and uh, tries to hook up. Tries to hook up with um, one of the only girl character in the show, Marzipan, who is definitely not interested. <laughs> but I can't think of a single joke in that show that. I mean, maybe some of the some of them have aged poorly because they're making references to things that I have no idea what they're referencing. They do that a lot. But in terms of like actual offensive jokes, no. But it does have a metric. I, I can't even put it into words how many inside jokes this series has. It's sort of like Homestar Runner experiencing it for the first time is like joining a friend group that you've never interacted with before. Past a certain point, almost every single joke, every single reference, Every single everything is either an in-joke, a reference to a previous cartoon, a reference to something that happened in the real world, maybe not even around this time period, or just a generally funny joke. So it's weird to get into because so many, you lack context for so much stuff when you first start out. But as you get in, as you start unraveling it bit by bit, it just gets funnier and funnier and funnier. It's like Venture Brothers. Like as it, the the further in you get, you notice all the all the self references and all the all the things you didn't notice before suddenly pop out of the woodwork. Like oh my god, yeah, that's referencing this animation. Or this dog character from this animation actually originated from this from this video from this animation ages ago where they just raided a bunch of uh, fan costumes during Halloween. Overall, it's just a very pleasant experience. And the characters are also just fun. There's sort of a gimmick with the show that every single- I don't really know whether, whether to call it a, a show, a, a series of animations, a website, a YouTube channel. 
It's really hard to describe, especially now that Flash is gone. I guess website is the best way to describe it. Part of the gimmick as well is that every single character has a has an over-the-top accent or some sort of like accent or vocal tick or something to that effect. And so after a certain point, it's just fun to hear the characters interact with each other and do their weird character things. Oh, come on. Hello, are you ready to be a key player in the world of biopharmaceuticals? No, stop asking. And while I'm while I'm paused, let me close out Discord because I don't trust it. I don't trust it to not to not go off spontaneously because a chat that I've been in, interacted with in months uh, suddenly puts out an announcement ping. But it's just very good, very pleasant. <clears throat> and as you get further in, you slowly get more of the jokes and it slowly it slowly gets funnier over time. Okay, now we get the good now we get the good stuff. Hello. Ugh. I think I heard I heard someone mention this before. This effect is a little disorienting. Okay, we got streetlight docks over here. Oh, this is um this bit's new. Okay, so the, the rules are the same as uh, Famicom Catherine C. Awesome. Okay, that's nothing. What about on the right side? What's over here? There's that. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Hello? <laughs> this is Glitch Nexus? I'm sorry? Uh, this place looks it looks really, really, really cute, but... What the hell? This isn't Red Sewers. This must be the hexagonal... What is it? Hexagonal tile world. This is so this is so cool. Hang on, there there are NPCs here somewhere. This is so charming. Just the sound effects. Oh, uh, where is vending? Oh, okay. That's why I didn't recognize it. I've been to Memory Garden like twice in my life. <laughs> what the hell did I just find?
Uh, I didn't even notice this before. It's like a Chinese water torture. <laughs> I, I just, I think of the Venture Brothers quote, the Venture Brothers clip. You have gone insane. You have been subjected to the deadly Chinese water torture for easily a half an hour. You are losing your grip on reality. If I'm half goat and on top I'm Sin Eater, what's Sin Eater? Or Wolverine with bat wings. <laughs> and dude, you're that henchman guy with bat wings? I love that show, man. It's so funny. All right, back to this. This time, let's not go to the that one-way path back to Marshmallow Shallows. Oh. Now, hang on a minute. This place is going to be expanded? Is the QXY update going to be new content, potentially? Okay, so this is part of Red Sewers. That's disturbing. <laughs> it's, they're, they're such cute characters, but you interact with them and they just turn to, they turn to a like horrible artifacted scribbles. Like, what did I do? <laughs> also, as if it wasn't hard enough to get, hmm. as if it wasn't hard enough to get to Virtual City and Rainy Apartments already, it's now even harder. <laughs> God, there's a vending machine here. It's just nuts? Okay. <laughs> I wonder how long it's been since they've added new vending machine items. Cause there there is the there is the Urusuki vending machine in Desert Unto Thyself, but I don't know if that counts. Interesting. Ah, there we are.
super weird. Okay, this is a this is a different door. Whoa! Whoa! Holy, holy moly! All right, that's something else that I got to do. I have to do stuff related to stuff of or related to Shimako. I still haven't done that stuff yet, but that is a whole aspect of QXY's um, content that I haven't even seen yet. This looks so pretty. God, this is so, this is so pretty. I wish I had more, I wish I had more intelligent commentary, but I'm just in, I'm just in awe right now. Okay, so that's the way in. Imagine visiting a place like this in real life. It's just the giant steps, but everything is like, uh, what's the word for it? Everything is all translute, is all like glassy and refl re refracting, refla refracting light all around. Oh, this is the way out. Okay, so where does this lead? Glowing tree path, no shit. Does this just, does this connect up to white lily path? Oh, wait, there's a doorway here. Oh. Hang on, first, first let me take a picture of this area because it's stunningly beautiful. Hang on, like a little, li little bit closer. And then let's see what this is, because this also is new, or at least kind of new. Oh god, there's no way out of this, is there? Okay, I guess I'm going this way then. Oh, cool. Seriously cool. Okay, so that's what Lakeside B. If I remember correctly, the right path is to go up. God, it's different now. This is, this is very disorienting. Okay. So this leads to White Lily Path. This is also different. This is so cool. It makes me so happy, man. QXY is is truly the goat. Ah, 
Ah, okay. So the eyeballs actually match up now. They used to kind of just be here, but now they're here and they're also in White Lily Path. I think there, there were also some virtual city changes, but I'll, let me wait until I actually get there. changes. Oops. Accidentally pulled it into another tab. Hopefully they didn't mess with anything. Oh! oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me go and change Miku's music real quick. If this does what I think it does... If I remember correctly, this changes the this changes the music in the main area. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> They're do doing their goofy ass JoJo poses. That's so good. Alright. That'll have to do it for me. I'm so glad. I, I'm so glad I checked this out. QXY really is the best. And I'll be gone for a while. I'll be back on the 18th or 19th of March. Depends on when things shake out. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all.